Hello folks and welcome back to New Man's Land. Here we are setting our products as usual. So we've got a fair few products here. We've got sunflower oil, creamed potatoes, canola oil, soybean oil, wood, cakes, cheese, and corn oil and somewhere a pad of clothes. Don't really want to sell that, but Beckett is on here and there are some I think a couple more pads on that hasn't been strapped down like the uh, planks on the back. But yeah, so overall, we're doing alright so far. Today is going to be busy because we've got our wheat, they're ready to be harvested. Our silage that's going to be ready later on today. And also, cotton, that's going to be ready next month in September. But yeah, so first of all, let's go and sell this. And you know what? I'm going to set it here at the sell everything container. So yeah, since that's time to see each other, all we've redone is just get this all loaded up and then move some pallets, like some donuts and that, into storage. So, as long as we're hitting that pallet limit once again, I think at the moment, now it's becoming the norm. To have the pad limits reaching every episode. But yeah, so I'm expecting about a quarter of a mil from this, give or take. Bits being sold now, so oh, yeah, definitely a quarter of a mil. Oops. Where are you going? So, total that was, yeah, about 240 grand. But, yeah, so for the corn harvest, we need to sell this and buy it again. That's because since I've last used it, there has been an update to it, so if we go down to our harvester, so core technology and I'm not going to go with the unrealistic saying that, I will go with a high horsepower engine a bit of skunks, wor skunks work there ooh, Halloween, Christmas, nope uh, bear with me a sec whilst I go and configure this. And there we go, reconfigured it just so that, yeah, it's just got halogen lights, it's got white, not white, uh, yellow beacons, and a nice high vis, almost like points far green almost. It's very close to the shade of points far green. If you're not John Deere Green, even though this is more John Deere Brown than anything else, so oh yeah, I also got this to do, almost forgot, so I think you know what, forget to work on this, so we need to fertilize this grass field as well. Obviously, where we've just created the grass in what last episode or one before. That needs to be fertilized, and then this needs to be fertilized, but Overall, I'm not too worried, especially where we've got 42,000 litres of fertiliser, so that is help from the tank on the front. Obviously, the spreader itself has got some liquid fertiliser, and we've also got capacity with these two tanks on the back. So yeah, the worker's going to go up and down a few times, so may readjust it in that. But yeah, so harvesting. We have a look at our crops. Ready, ready, ready. That's going to be ready tomorrow, next month, whatever. So yeah, this is our wheat field. All we're going to get straw from it. Do we need straw? No, not really, but... I'm 
fall to Harvester. And this time it's Feel the Reaper. Fear, not Feel the Reaper, Fear the Reaper. There we go. Unfold the header. Put Shrew Swath on. And there we go, we are harvesting, so this isn't going to take us too long. And she's finally good that she uses, and it's the first time I've used this. Obviously, apparently, everyone's scared of the Reaper here. Hence why I had that ridiculous update of it removing that Reaper livery. That's why I haven't updated this, so I'm really hoping this doesn't have an update to add more stuff on it. Because I really want to update this because I'm on console and I do love that Reaper and that, that little decal. It's different. It's different. Not something you see every day, but apparently that scares everyone, so. So flakes, as I say, but. <laughs> oh, anyway, so I think what we'll do is we'll get us all done in time lapse. Get all done. The wheat, that's going to be processed to make flour, because we do need flour desperately. And then, yeah, I think we do have some more pallets that need to be sold. But we can do that later on, so yeah. I'll get this all done, and I'll see you folks afterwards. <laughs> So, but yeah, so 
there has to be a spray near. And then what we need to do is we can wait on the collection of the straw. We may need to feed our cows. How are they doing at the moment? Yeah, they're getting low on food, so we'll give them some food. Sheeps are doing good. Of course, they still got plenty of bells there that we dumped. Uh, I mean, a couple of episodes ago, was that? Or something? But yeah, so. Just gonna have a look, make sure everything's done. More of this. Just the odd spots here and there. But yeah. So we've almost went through half of this. Okay, maybe though that was a bit of waste and that on the worker. Not the worker, like me doing it manually and missing bits or having it all manually for his spray bits, but overall, not too bad. And that'd be enough for the wheat fields. <laughs> Maybe need to fill up a bit of the cotton field, but we can wait on that. Let's smash this up, please, then, boy. So, yeah, we'll put this over here. One thing we do need to also sort out is the flower, because we bought some flower already spawning, so. Yeah, so let's get the 8410 here. And let's have a look at these two combines. So, the new Reaper has got 85,000 litres. And this one's got 130, so just shy of 215,000 litres. So, about 218, 213, sorry. So, yeah, that ain't a bad hole. All things considering. So, you now let's go and collect this. It's not a tight term circle to strap in. But yeah, we'll get some wheat in here and we'll start making wheat flour. There we go. Man, that fill up rate. God, that was absolutely fast. <coughs> yeah, I forgot about that. Ooh, me likey. I can keep this straight and just go back and forth. So, yeah, wheat flour is on. So, yeah, that's going to consume that in a matter of 36,000 years a month. So, so about eight months worth. Yes. It, was, it does fit, it's just the lip of where we actually dump the grain there. So. But, oh well. So let's grab one more loot. There we go. So yeah, that'll be enough just on its own, 104,000 or so. Yeah, almost three months, so that's us. I think it's almost full as well, so we need to put the rest of the meat in storage. That's got plenty of capacity, so there, so bear me a sec, let me get the rest of this in, and then we'll start looking at the corn, I think. Oh no, the flower actually first. There we go, just following up the combines, and actually this was a lot quicker way of doing it, so last bit. There we go. And that is all of the wheat in there, so. Good, good, so let's go and grab the Teleander a sec. It's just around here. So yeah, we need to actually prioritise, have a look at what productions are uh, need. Actually, how much does this need? That's got tons of flour, so what about the others? Starting off with the farm factory. Don't really want bread. And yeah, I forgot we could put the wheat in here, couldn't we? It's not a faster production rate, but we do get some pig food that we can sell. So yeah, 
that requires a few things as well, sugar in that, so it's got sugar, some of it, plenty of milk, a few eggs, needs more butter, but yeah, let's heck it, let's do that, so we get the cakes going on there, so farm factory, okay, that will need too much, ooh, that needs milk donut production, and flour, so I think I'll prioritize the donut production. Yeah, that's 30, 50, 100, 3,000. Yeah, that's, that's still got enough for now. So we need to probably actually no, focus on the donuts. So where am I going this way? So we get some milk and so, I think, yeah, I think, well, it's a short hole, so we just carry it with the Tayander. Also, I'll be back on with the BGA with the um, silage. I have neglected that, that's why my hasn't really been going up as much in the last few episodes. With the productions and that is can be a, it can be a bit of a headache. Oh, don't get me wrong. I think what was it a few episodes ago when I came back after again another bit of spackle in between episodes. Was focused on corn farms. I think it was. Yeah, it did stress me out with all the productions because it can be stressful managing everything, especially bug managing. Like most of our stuff are set to sell at the moment. There's only certain bits we are keeping. Ourselves. I think it's a little more room for flower. There we go. That's took in all the flower. But yeah, it's my best advice would be for anyone who's playing new, who's new to the series, or just new to farm simulator in general, best advice would be start small. And then scale it up if needed and where you can and where you're comfortable as well. Because, yeah, I know there was a, a map, I think it was actually called a bit big production map, which was a bit controversial to some people. I'm not sure why, but. Uh, I'm not sure. Actually, this needs to be. Actually, you know what? I've got to do a cheeky reset here. I can't be bothered to empty the water, so. But yeah, it's like me with this series, this is the first time I've had a proper full on dive into production. So I've dipped and dabbed here and there, never wrong, gone over the top, maybe, um, what would it be? Not even comes so far, I think that's the only one, I think I had like, a lot of productions, maybe Obey Room, had some productions going, but yeah, nothing a lot. But yeah, a lot of it is, at the end of the day, I said, market management here and there. But I'm loving it, I'm loving the productions, it's a good addition to FS22. I know people do, yeah, say it's not a farm simulator, it's more production simulator, but... Obviously, I'm doing this on a bit of a, what's a ship scale? 
Uh, I think it depends on mods now. Whether you get the all in one production by is it the Lord, I think it is. Get all your productions in one building. Easy to do, easy to manage. Also, I mean, a lot of this is just purely experimenting and having fun with the series. I know very quickly the series stopped becoming a survival challenge and we are thriving, we're booming. I know they say we'll try to get 10 million, but I had a bit of a difficulty at the moment, so. Yeah, 10 million, so it's really possible. Oops, don't get stuck, please. Just John Deere has got a great turn circle with the hitch and that kind of stuff. But yeah, so let me get the milk sorted with the donuts, get the donut production, then get some rest, and we'll start harvesting the corn. And here we go, we're in September, and it's not quite ready to harvest the cotton. I still got one more month left, I thought they'll be ready now, but I guess not. Yeah, final growth state. Ah, yeah, cotton's October, November. Well, we can plant the wheat again, but that means we need to pick the straw up. And that is why we bought myself another tractor. Got the money, why not? Also, our cows need straw as well, so what we need to do is, once we fill this up, we'll give them some straw. But yeah, so I think next time we'll start doing the cotton harvest, and that should be nice. Get out of the fabric, and then into clothes, and then come, was it May next year, when we're able to sell them at a decent price? But yeah, so anyways, this is where I'm going to leave it today. I'll finish this bit here off in between episodes, and then next time, we'll start in those fields over there. But yeah, so anyways, as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button, feel free to go down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, for as you to do, hope you're nice today. But for now, it's me, Farmer Evelyn Street. And I'll see you all very soon.